sadly, we've gotten to a point in the world, and especially in our community, that all of our actions are viewed through the lens of the woman instead of the lens of us. And other groups of men having to protect their paternity, their resources, their they're this, they're that. I mean, we've seen this, we've seen the numbers, we've seen people who have had who signed birth certificates, who got a DNA uh test later, found out they wasn't even this kid and still on child support. We got thousands of stories like this. But nothing seems to, but it always seems to be it's offensive to women. When if you can understand that you don't have the doubt, men do. That's the only thing I never understood. So that's kind of why I wanted to kind of chime in. And then, and then, and then one of the men earlier said that, that I wouldn't do it. It was almost like he was virtue signaling. It's like, oh, I wouldn't do it because I should have to pick a woman this way and that way. And I, I wouldn't want to make her feel this way and that way. And I'm like. Oh, about the paternity test and the prenup and all that. You right. And, and, and that's and it's something to say until you really have something on the line. I mean, I mean, and no offense, but the numbers get bigger and the more risk and out there, there's a reason this thing exists and it's not to be a punitive measure. So I think the better solution would be, honestly, because we don't run our own image. Um, if you just, if it's really, you need to know, get the child tested in, 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 in a secret, if it's going to cause issues. But if you know things like this matter, it's up to us as men to learn how to communicate effectively our standards and our expectations of the kind of women we deal with uh, and not get ourselves in a position to where you're going to have these kind of issues with women. That's why I can kind of see where the women were coming from where we talk about the communication. But if you're already married and y'all find out. But here's the real question. Um, what do women say when it comes back that it's not the man's child because it's anywhere from two to 30 percent we don't talk about that we talk about the the guys who want to take the test and we want to interrogate that we never get to the other side so that's why i'm kind of i was listening to the conversation so i'm going to leave that right there and kind of let it for the rest of the panel i'm gonna fall back and kind of listen and chime in though you know what um Kevin, <laughs> huh? I, um, I'm not sure how you, how long you've been watching, but you know, I don't think there's any issue with a man wanting a DNA test. It should just be the thing that I think it should just be protocol. Um, in terms of what would happen if the baby ends up not being the father's, the, the alleged father's mm -hmm. child. Um, I think that that woman would have a lot of explaining to do. And, and the man, you know, of course he can choose to do whatever he wants. Like, I wouldn't be mad if somebody left, if they found out that that's not their child. You can't, okay. Mad. You can't. If your name's on that birth certificate. Oh, you you're saying still, like, that if they. Yeah, you're still, yeah. still legally responsible for you. You're still legally responsible. So yeah, Kevin. Even marriage. outside the marriage. Kevin, maybe you know more about this and you can explain a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Um. So if a, a couple, let's say they're uh -huh. not married and the man gets his name on the birth certificate and he thinks mm -hmm. he's the father. And let's say six months later, they take a paternity test. He's not the father. What happens and what are the legal ramifications of that situation? Six months, you may be able to get the you, six months. You may be able to, uh, depending upon whether the sooner, the better. Six months, it's a possibility. <laughs> but. Two or three years, you're paying child support. There's case law in Michigan, Illinois, Texas, throughout this country where men have proven because they didn't want to test while they were in a relationship, but they tested after. Shows mm -hmm. that all the kids, and they're still responsible. You got men in jail because they fell behind paying child support for kids that aren't theirs, and they've been trying to get their name off, and the court said, well, you assume the responsibility and the child looks at you as a father so it's in the best interest of the child. When I, this, is why I, this is why I challenge everybody to go sit in family court on for at least two or three Tuesdays and just listen to some of this stuff because 
once you start hearing these stories, it becomes more real. Once a man signs, I'll give you an example. I was my first when I was married. We we got divorced. My ex-wife got was got pregnant. Um, she had a child, and you know she had chosen to just kind of keep it away from me, or kind of keep it on the low, or whatever, whatever. And I kind of acted like I didn't see, I mean, like you see somebody growing out here. Anyway, I'm at my daughter's birthday party. Everybody's congratulating me. And so I'm like, congratulate my mother. I'm like, that ain't mine. Anyway, I'm leaving with my daughter and I get a phone call. She's like, hey, by the way, uh, I think you know I have a son by now. I'm like, yeah, I've heard. Well, uh, your name's on this birth certificate. And uh, you need to uh, deny it or you're going to be responsible for child support. And I said, who wasn't aware now? Yeah, see what happens if a woman goes to have a child at the, at the hospital, they ask you if you're single, married or divorced. And if you say divorced, they're gonna ask you when the divorce is final. If the divorce has been final for 11 months or less, the husband's name goes on the birth certificate automatically. And it is the husband's responsibility, the ex-husband's responsibility to deny it in writing within 30 days, or you become the legal father of that child. Okay, so you it's automatic. Right. You, you it. heard that right. So I'm there on a Saturday, and I had to prolong my trip because I have five days left, or else I would have been responsible for another man's kid. Because... That's a federal, that's a law that's in every 50 states because women, they were, what they were trying to prevent is women getting pregnant in the marriage, going across the world and not having a paper trail for the father. But like many other laws, they end up tangling men up to where she can go off and just say she was divorced. And she had, and, and she had no choice. When she said divorce, a series of events happened. I verified this with an attorney. It ain't like she tried to do that on purpose because I wanted to believe she did it on purpose. I was like, no, no, that's just what has to happen. So I had to deny, I had to get it in, in writing and everything else because I would have been legally responsible. See, this is why it is so important for men. And this, like you said, Kate, it should be a mandatory DNA testing when a child is born to determine but you need to understand the hundreds of millions of dollars the family court system is to this country. That's why it's not mandatory because what you're talking about would take millions of dollars out of state budgets. 